Now, the local music scene has had its share of feuds and rivalries. ex do and Chicago's lyrical war got tongues wagging back in the late 90s. Well, before that was the ever-famous, there was an ever-famous Lumba and I champion feud. Who did you root for? Well, tonight, Owusu Warai brings you a flashback of some notable rivalries and how they impacted the Ghanaian music scene. Lyrical wars, feud, or if you like beefs, have been with us for long, but quite a few of them made headlines. The ever popular Daddy Lumba Nane Champa feud stands out. They form a solid pair, the Lumba brothers, and record songs together. <laughs> Despite it being played down, the feud lives on. There is absolutely no rivalry between Nane Champo and I. Well, Lumba has spoken and that should settle everything. Watch out! They were the best of friends. In 1996, Exdo and Chicago recorded a hit track. <laughs> Years later, the friendship turned sour, and the two were engaged in a lyrical war. At that time, Exdo and Chicago were, were on. I mean, they were hot. Hip life wasn't too developed. So they were the people actually calling the shots when it comes to rap. Despite several attempts to reunite them, their friendship has never been the same. And yet another remarkable beef is a Lord Kenya or brothel rivalry. The best rapper was the bone of contention. Lord Kenya was more energetic. Obrafo appeared relaxed, but his punch lines were not. It gets nasty when probably emotions are not controlled. You know, probably somebody says something that really touches your nerve and you get angry. And it has happened. The late running coach slapped Samini some time back. Some years back. I mean, it was the extreme end. He got really provoked and had to slap him. So these are some of the extremes of a, a rivalry. For me, beef is good. It has an advantage. And we should, we should capitalize on the advantage. It's good. They are even trying to bring my career down, but I'm rising higher than they think. It is arguably the fiercest of all the rivalries, the battle for the dance hall king title. The exchanges were swift and got tanks wagging. You know, at the time, dance hall was just a genre, a small genre. Um, but that particular beef, in my view, kind of brought a lot of attention to that type of music. Shatawale appeared the aggressor. When you beef with the wrong people, you might end up getting shot in the foot. Just like people believe that Chatawale's beef with Chatterhouse has made him never see the doors of BET and he will never see it. What will become of the manifest Sarkode feud? For me, Sarkode shouldn't have responded with the counter song. He should have left manifest hanging. But now he's giving manifest of mileage. In the past, who are you to criticize Sarkode? But now people are criticizing him. And for me, it's revealing another aspect of him as if he's losing shine. I just chuck it, laughing hard to their tears in the bucket. Some of my peers spineless, they are muppets. Always nothing like a lizard.